Hey there, Sharon Hornell here. Welcome to day 236 of our Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. We're focusing on communication goals this month. And a topic that I wanted to bring up is the idea of having our own code of conduct with respect to communication. How we choose to hold ourselves accountable to how we communicate. Why? Because we can only control ourselves. So we can only really create a code of conduct. We do it for our businesses, we do it for our families, we do it for our life, and it's implied even if it isn't stated. And so my challenge for you today is as an action item, actually create your own code of conduct. Well, what the heck's a code of conduct? Why do I want it? And how can it help me to create and get the goals I want, especially in the area of communication, which will then impact every other area and aspect of my life. Well, a code of conduct, the first one was created by Kim, Kim, King Hammurabi in Babylon in 1792 to 1750. He created the first expected code of conduct and shared it with his people. In America, President Eisenhower proposed one which was 170 pages long in 1955. It was accepted in 1960 and then updated in 1988. I would be curious to read that code of conduct now because it doesn't feel like many politicians uh, actually follow a code of conduct. It was actually rolled out initially to police officers to ensure that human rights were uh, adhered to and upheld. And again, I would love to read that code of conduct because I think that Perhaps it isn't being, and we aren't being held accountable to it in all levels of, of uh, behavior these days. But our topic today is create your own code of conduct. I started brainstorming a couple of things for mine, but we're going to create our own communication code of conduct, meaning how are we going to choose to communicate moving forward in different areas and aspects of our life. We want to include things like knowledge. How are we going to get knowledge and information? Where are we going to get it from? What sources? Uh, what expectations, positive expectations. Are we sharing ours with other people and are we asking them theirs? What do we stand for? What do we stand against? What do we want? What do we don't want in the area of communication? So for example, I just brainstormed four things as I was sitting here. One, I want to seek to understand. In all of my communications, I want to make sure that one of my top priorities is I'm trying to understand the real intent, the real message that someone is trying to communicate with me. Secondly, I want to make sure I do clear, concise, direct communication, no beating around the bush, no uh, talking circles, no doing tricky communications, making sure that I'm as clear and direct as I can possibly be in the vast majority of my communications, if not all. I want to also ask questions, which reminds me to seek to understand and make sure that I really know what the person is trying to convey to me. And then uh, remembering why I'm having the communication in the first place. Why am I engaged in this interchange, whether it's text, phone, uh, voice, Zoom, whatever, one-to-one, -one. why am I there? What's, what's the purpose of the communication? What do I want to have happen as a result of that communication? And if I remember those things, and that's just my quick start list, uh, I, I would say I probably need something about listening in there, not interrupting in there, that's a, a want versus don't want and things like that. So that's our action item today. Questions about this, hit me up, just ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow. Let's create our own code of conduct. Have fun with this, but realize that once you have a communication code of conduct, how you're gonna hold yourself accountable and how you're gonna behave in your communications, it will improve every other area and aspect of your life. I actually can guarantee that. All right, have a great day. If you need help, ask. Otherwise, there are Examples of code of conducts in different areas and aspects of our life in the private Facebook group page, the Get Up and Go Challenge private Facebook group page. All right, have a great day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.